For my next project, I decided to build a tricopter. I wouldn't call it scratch building because I'm buying a frame, but otherwise I'm deciding on all the other components being installed and installing them myself. All of that being said, if you're looking for something new in the multi-rotor world, this is it. Just when you thought that all multi-rotor frames looked the same, the Y3 hits the market. It features a fiberglass construction with ply reinforcement. The Y3 is super rigid yet lightweight, and the high gloss paint job is very impressive to look at, making it really stand out in the air. This is the first fiberglass Y3 multi-rotor frame on the market today that I'm aware of. It really turns head to your local flying site. The full body design makes for very easy orientation while flying. It even features mounting grooves for LED light strips on the bottom and the top, making it perfect to uh, set up for night flying. The frame arrives in kit form with all of the required hardware included. To get the tricopter flying, you have to add your own brushless motors and ESCs, a multi-rotor control board, a micro server, uh, sorry, a micro servo for the tail, and a four-channel radio and receiver, as well as a set of propellers and a LiPo battery. I'll break down my build starting with the motors. I installed three Alien Outrunner brushless C2830 1000 kV motors. These motors are basically clones of Turnigy motors. Physical dimensions are very close, not exact, but within a half a millimeter. Construction is also close to the same, however the end bells and can are quite different in their design. The Alien has a better finish than the Turnigy and gives the impression of better quality. The phase wires are better protected with improved support and insulation throughout the motor end bell. Internally, it's difficult to tell the motors apart. For main propellers, I chose Neon Green Gym Fan 9 by 4.7 Pros. For my ESCs, I chose Hobby King 25 Amp ESCs. The Hobby King SS series comes with a limited range of programming functions, but they are plug and play and they're very economic. For board control, I chose a KK2 board. The KK2 was engineered from the ground up to bring multi-rotor flight to everyone. The LCD screen and built-in software makes install and setup really easy. A host of multi-rotor craft types are pre-installed. You simply select your craft type, check the motor layout and propeller direction, calibrate your ESCs and radio, and you're ready to go. The KK2 gyro system has been updated to an incredibly sensitive dual-chip 3-axis gyro and single-chip 3-axis accelerometer system, allowing for the addition of an auto-level function. Now, in my flight video that you'll see, I'm not using the auto-level function, and you'll still see how very stable this aircraft flies. There's also a piezo buzzer included with the board for audio warning when activating and deactivating the board. For my radio, I chose a high-tech transmitter and receiver. This radio has a high-intensity white backlit LCD screen and ultra-smooth quad ball bearing gimbals. It has a 16 model memory, intuitive control switches, and an array of telemetry functions including sensor monitoring. I chose the Optimus 7 as my receiver. This receiver features adaptive adaptive frequency hopping spread spectrum technology or AFHSS as well as boosted omnidirectional antenna or BOTA. These technologies ensure a rock solid interference free connection between the transmitter and receiver. It also uses smart scan to scan the 2.4 GHz spectrum to find the cleanest channels in which to operate therefore providing interference free operation even in the most crowded environments. It is also telemetry capable and has a low battery warning not found on most radio and receiver combos. The firmware and software is also upgradable. For my servo, I chose a really small feather servo. The, it's a high tech HS 5056 Metal Gear premium digital feather servo. It's the perfect choice for this tricopter because, well, if nothing else, it fits. Um, a lot of others building this tricopter have had to trim the metal casing on the back to allow for other servos to fit. There are lots of miscellaneous parts like servo extensions, battery connectors, power distribution boards, etc. that I won't go into detail on. So this is the finished product.
Since my neon green gym fan props had not arrived from Hong Kong, my flight test slash demo is with the smaller master airscrew props. After the initial flight test that you just watched, I decided to add some LEDs. Since the Y3 frame has channels built in for LEDs, I decided to add white and green LED strips. I added white to the top and bottom channels and I added green LEDs to the front of the wings that kind of wrap around the, the motors on the side. Please ask questions or leave comments below and thank you for watching.